Dave Simonetti, uh, co-founder of uh, Real Gifts. And uh, so we're a social commerce platform, and we enable social gifting on uh, any website that you may uh, run. So developers of social gaming and dating sites can integrate a real gift shop within their app, which allows users to gift each other real tangible items without any other address. Elevator pitch. Um, the the, uh, the start was um, uh, Facebook uh, gifts, right? And Facebook wall uh, kind of gifts where people could gift uh, birthday cakes and uh, uh, any number of other things to each other? Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, Facebook has a, they started out with a virtual gift shop that they launched um, in 2007, I believe. And so they were, they essentially made uh, yeah, vir virtual birthday gift icons of you know, birthday cakes and that sort of thing. And they're just you know, selling millions and millions of those every year. And so uh, then last year they decided to expand their gift shop into uh, offering the virtual gifts as well as some other categories like charity gifts and uh, e-cards as well as real gifts. And so we partnered directly with them to offer real gifts um, in the Facebook gift shop. Okay, and so what are real gifts versus virtual gifts or just? Uh, okay, so uh, so real gifts include the virtual gifts, um, but it actually couples with the virtual gift a real tangible gift. So if you send somebody a dozen roses, they'll get the virtual icon on their profile and all 130 friends average uh, for each sender and recipient will see that the recipient received a gift. Um, the bonus in our integration is they'll actually also receive the real gift. So they'll get a dozen roses delivered to the doorstep. Wow, so I can get a real beer uh, delivered to me? Uh, we don't currently offer a beer. Um, we, uh, we have a rubber chicken from time we, to time. We, we, we can know. hope, we can only hope. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so why don't we t talk a little bit about your journey here. You guys had a pretty amazing start, right? It was like, almost like from early days you got recognized. Uh, yes, we, uh, we've been working together, uh, the co-founding team here, for uh, a number of years, and uh, a couple of years ago we, uh, we launched uh, Real Gifts, and um, we launched it at the yeah. F8 Developer yeah. Conference, yeah. That's yeah. Which, which, which one was that? The Facebook F8 Developer oh, yeah. Conference. Oh yeah, F8, yeah. And uh, so yeah, we launched there, and we just got a huge amount of interest from developers, um, and you know, we saw a bunch of uh, Facebook employees were having some interest as well. And uh, so we went ahead and applied to the Facebook Fund competition uh, shortly thereafter. Um, and out of over 600 applicants, uh, we were chosen as a, a winner of that, uh, the top 25 in that competition. Right. So the gods reached down and touched <laughs> you and said, you will be yeah, a Facebook of, Fund and you got some money. And uh, uh, Yeah, we got a, a, a small, uh, you know, got a cash prize out of it. Um, but also the most valuable thing we got was kind of the networking and the contacts with Facebook insiders. And a deal, a deal with Facebook, right? Uh, it, it wasn't uh, necessarily part of that program but it certainly helped us in uh, you know these discussions that we had with some Facebook people yeah. and um, one thing led to another and uh, pretty soon they came to us and said hey we want you guys to do real gifts in the Facebook gift shop. What was the toughest thing that you figured out because it seems like anybody could have created this but you guys figured out something that uh, made it so the developers wanted to prioritize your platform. Um, sorry, so your question is... Well, what was it that you figured out? I mean, what was the, the, the okay. particular IP or what was, the, right. what was the challenge you had to overcome in order to, you know, make this something that was investment worthy and growth worthy? Okay. All right, I guess uh, there were probably a number of things. When we started this out, we thought it'd be like a one or two week project, just build a really good shop <laughs> and you're done. Uh, it turns out there's, there's a lot more involved, which is why probably uh, not a lot of people have done this before. Right. Um, it, it turns out, yeah, just between all the developer partnerships and the vendor partnerships and all the systems and customer support management and everything that you need to build, um, you're, you're almost building like a mini Amazon type site. Um, and so we really just got to kind of overcome, you know, a lot of those hurdles, um, as well as, uh, you know, what do you do in the case where, you know, senders want to give, you know, uh, real gifts to recipients, but they don't always have the address. So we came up with an address, a blind address proxy system, uh, which enables senders to send recipients gifts without even needing to know their address. Wow. And so what happens is after the sender sends the gift, we contact, you know, there's ways that we can uh, you know, retrieve the address or contact the recipient, um, and the recipient can actually enter that address. Easy way for brands to integrate is you know, instead of giving a beer, you give a Guinness. Or instead of giving a flowers, you may give an FTD flower, a flower right. package of some kind. So there's branded gifts that you could certainly put in. That seems like the, the solution A to it. But what are ways that brands have approached you or you've approached brands to, 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 to capitalize on this? Um, yeah, so um, you know, we started out just offering just a variety of different types of gifts, uh, they were generic items to start, just so we could get a feel for the market and see where users were uh, interested in. And uh, we ended up partnering with a number of brands, anything from you know, Fandango to Teleflora to Restaurant.com, uh, ThinkGeek, uh, Mrs. Fields Cookies. Um, so we, we partnered with those vendors and we found that uh, you know, people really like sending the branded gifts. Um, it's, 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 it's done a lot for just kind of the, you know, the traffic and um, just kind of the buzz about the whole shop. 
So uh, we also were able to launch a, uh, a promotion with Fandango where we were giving away a bunch of you know, free movie tickets. And um, you know, that actually, we, had, we saw some really good results from that. Um, actually took down our servers because uh, we announced <laughs> it a bit too early so uh, the traffic had a chance to build up. Um, but uh, yeah, so yeah, we've, we've seen brands do, uh, do wonders on our platform so far. Yeah, and um, so how would a, how would a brand uh, do something creatively using this and using your platform? Uh, well, they can, uh, by partnering with us, they can offer their uh, gifts within a, a real gift storefront. So we can give them a storefront on our, on our gift shop, which can then be integrated in any number of developer sites. So if they want to offer their products on different social sites or gaming sites or dating sites, uh, you know, they can enter their products into our system and, uh, and we can make those products available uh, through their storefront, their own storefront on these other uh, third party sites. Cool. And uh, what about their own website? I mean, could you be running the, uh, the, yeah. the real gift dot uh, uh, right. name it com? Yeah. yeah. So if they have a website or if they have, uh, say, like a Facebook fan page, uh, we can integrate an actual... It could um, be an app within their page or a tab? Right, yeah. They, cool. they'll, they'll load our shop in an iframe and we can customize it for them and they can actually have their own real gift shop directly within their fan page or their website or wherever their users may be. They can now monetize that traffic without using ads. And does that does that allow you to um, then have access to the whole social graph feeds or has, has Facebook changed the rules on that too? Uh, we have access to a certain amount of information. Um, that's something that's constantly changing. So <laughs> yeah. that answer will vary on a week-by-week -week basis uh, with uh, the way Facebook's going on things right now. All right. Yeah. And um, uh, the uh, impression of uh, today uh, and what, what uh, PepsiCo is doing in terms of being a startup, uh, coming to this, getting this kind of exposure at uh, PepsiCo. And yeah, we, we think it's really exciting. It's just kind of amazing what they're doing. They've uh, put out this competition, and you know, all these innovative companies have applied, and you know, we've seen that some of the companies here just are doing a lot of you know, great things. Um, and uh, we're just kind of really excited to be a part of it. So, uh, Ever seen any other company doing this? Uh, in, in quite this way. I mean, uh, you know, Facebook did a similar thing with their, uh, their, with their FB Fund competition. Yeah. That's probably the most uh, similar thing that we've seen um, lately, but, but this is quite unique for a, kind of a big brand like Pepsi to be doing it. I mean, they're not actually owning the social network, but they want to get into the social network space um, and just really start hitting those users in different ways. So, um, yeah, we think it's really neat what they're doing. Great. Well, thanks for your time. Appreciate right. it. Thank Cheers. You.